Greetings off rock here, let's play Geocaster. It is Monday. Welcome to the beginning of a brand new week. It is, uh, what is the second week in February? I guess first full week in February now. When you are watching this, when we're recording this, we are still back in January because we are, of course, watching this live on Twitch where you should be as well Sundays at 11 o'clock. Uh, this is a challenge that comes to us from Simi, longtime contributor, prolific contributor to the Geoguessr subreddit, of course, reddit.com slash r slash Geoguessr, hashtag advertising, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag I would be, hashtag someone pay me, please God, please God. It's a weird one. It's a weird day. I've had a weird day. Uh, so the, uh, this is part of the Famous Architect series, is Lewis Sullivan, and I'm not familiar with Lewis Sullivan's works, so uh, it'll be fun to see. I'm assuming this is it. This is a nice shaped building there. Kind of the old brick style of like, um, almost a WPA, right? See a WPA error? Oh shoot, or is this a Lewis Sullivan? I don't know, Simi, help! Simi is watching live, he'll tell us which one is the actual Lewis Sullivan. They might both be. And it's probably Lewis Sullivan or something, but I'm gonna say Lewis Sullivan because I am an uncultured Midwesterner. Time limit? Oh shit, there's a time limit. Okay, uh, we're in the United States, we're traveling on a one-way road. There's a church. We're extreming something. That's a media server, apparently. Service, if you will. We're crossing Bayer Avenue. We're on third. It's the church. Seriously? The church is the Louis Sullivan thing. Never mind the two other interesting buildings. The brick one. Oh, you're you're horrible. So there are two churches. Okay, you're you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. This I thought was a school. Appears to be a church, probably attached to a school. Oh, it is St. Paul's Cathedral. Cathedral? No, it's a United Methodist. They don't do cathedrals. So it's a St. Paul United Methodist Church on Third Avenue. In some city, we now have two and a half minutes to find it. My god, my god, why are there time limits? Okay, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Everything's fine, it's a park. I can't read that sign, it's like standard park font number 72 though, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to find anything off that. We're on 3rd Avenue, we're traveling, no, no, we're on 3rd Avenue, we're traveling down 3rd Avenue. Hoping to find some information. This is a big cross street. It's 19th and 3rd, wait a minute, what's that say up there? Hold on, get up there. Get closer. What does that say? Something seasons? The city of five seasons. What does that? That's not even. There are four seasons. There are four lights. Okay. <clears throat> now we're at First Avenue in the city of four seasons, five seasons, whatever. Eighty-five million freaking seasons. The Whelan Clinical Labor Laboratories, Western Fraternal Life. We are screwed, ladies and gentlemen. Like, we are not going to get this at all. The area code is 319, which does not help me. Bollocks. More Wheeland. That's Midland. I don't even know, like, what region of the country we're in. It seems like the Midwest. Oh, for God's sake. Wait, what is that bus? Oh, not helpful. Different camera. We just switched to three different cameras. It's madness. 151. I have no idea where 151 is, but we're going to have to at least try and guess. Does it go through Chicago? I could buy that this is Chicago land. 151. There's the 61. There's the 41. Sure, we're gonna get Chicago land for a minute. Where's the 150? There's the 51. It goes through Madison. I clicked on Madison. It may be a mistake, but I did it. 151's not around there. 51 comes all the way down through Vidalia. Comes down through Jackson, Miss. Oh, that's Jackson, Tennessee. Never mind. Tupelo, Miss. Goes down through Winona. I don't see the 151 listed anywhere around this bad boy. Uh, and we're out of time. Oh my god, what a guess. We were actually in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Business 151. Interesting. 
So it's actually old one. I did go the wrong way. Yeah, crap. Had I gone south, I'd at least got into the, the city. <clears throat> St. Paul's United Methodist. Probably this part is designed. This was like a tack on. The city was already featured in one of your challenges. Well, it was too late for me to see that. Is the audio not in sync with the face cam? Yes, that's entirely likely. I've been having all sorts of problems with my computer. It's running uh, Linux Ubuntu, but I cannot update it because I, I don't have enough space on the boot sector to do it. So I think what I really need to do is just finally bite the bullet, render all of these videos tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow morning. Jesus, I got to work. It's a Monday. Tomorrow evening to then... Um, I'm not clicking the next round, by the way, because the timeline. But then tomorrow evening, try and change the boot sector after I've uploaded all this stuff to, to YouTube so I don't screw it up. Um or don't lose it rather and try and increase the boot sector and if it fails then I could just wipe the whole thing and put windows on it and just give up or if it if it doesn't then I'm good to go right and and hopefully all of these updates because there's like 40 or 50 updates that are queued right now that I have not been able to do because my boot sector is not big enough to hold the next copy of the kernel and and if you're familiar with Linux I've already there are no other copies of the kernel in the boot sector I've deleted them all and I just don't have enough because back when I was setting up these things, a 512 megabyte boot sector was more than you would ever need. Well, now it's it's not. I need to do like a two gig boot sector or something. Oh, it's a subreddit challenge. All right, well, that's fine. Whatever. Time limits are time limits. Hello. Are you going to make an appearance? Yeah? You could be YouTube famous today. Yes. Yes. Go, you can go sit in your little camera bed. What? Why are you, go? Why are you freaking out? My cat said or abuse you or something. Why are you being all skittish? Yes. Okay. This is a YouTube video, so I can't. I can't do this for very long. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next round. La Pain Quatalin. One dollar. What was the design here? I don't know Lewis. I probably should have looked up Lewis Sullivan to see what's going on. We're getting Crosby and Bleakers. Is this the Bronx? $24,999. Oh, so close. Coming soon, one to four bedroom condominium residences for two to five million dollars. Probably not. 212, it is New York. But I don't I don't remember if these signs are in Brooklyn or the Bronx. Whatever, we'll figure it out. I don't know which building it is. It's the big white building. Cuzzy. There's two of them. I'm gonna go with the one with all the little stuff on it. Alright, here we go. Your new Lower East Side target is now open. Well, I'm imagining if you're advertising the Lower East Side, we're actually in Manhattan, but that doesn't make any sense. What, what is this? We're bleaker in what now? Lafayette. He's taking this horse by the brains, making red coats rather than blood stain. I honestly thought those were only in... in Whatever. Okay, let's go down Lafayette then. We're going down the wrong way. It's fine. I've got a permit. The Pixel 2 is being advertised, so this is over a year old. Is somebody shoveling outside? Good lord, man. Lafayette and Prince. I feel like I've been in this area before on a previous challenge. See if we can find Lafayette here. It's gonna be right around in this whole area anyway. I mean, that's Lower Manhattan. That's the East Village, right? So is that the East Side? That's the Upper East Side. I, I guess we're on Manhattan. Lafayette is moving east-west. But they're named. There's the lower. I was gonna say because if it's named, it, it's got to be way down here. Otherwise, it's numbered. Where's Bleaker? 
I'll take any one of these things that I've seen here. Okay, that's where the numbers begin. It's Baxter. It's like Bleaker, but different. Bum, bum. I mean, that's Wall Street area. Nobody calls that the Lower East Side. It's Wall Street, right? 44 seconds, and I can't find shite down here because I am just an idiota. What are you? You're Houston. I mean... I hate this game. Why am I playing this game? I'm done with you. I'm never playing GeoGuessr again. One of the earliest skyscraper designers. Oh, that's cool. I don't know where we are. Screw it. I hate this. That is not the Lower East Side. How can you be west of Bowery and be the east side? I have a problem with that. What is Lafayette that I didn't know? What else is it? Lafayette is just Lafayette. Confusingly, there are some named streets still down in here. In NoHo? I don't think I have ever heard that. Doesn't mean it's not called that, but I don't think I've ever heard anyone say NoHo. I mean, granted, Southern and North, I get it. Southern Houston, North Houston. Like, I understand, but... If you're a New Yorker and you've ever called it NoHo, let me know. This must be the other one, because it's got those same little funky crenellations. Across from a Hooters. Perfect. 7th Street. Looks to be a capital city of some sort. Was Louis Sullivan primarily an American architect? It's not Houston? Don't tell me they say Houston. Down at the MX. Minneapolis Expo? This could be Minnesota. It is U.S. Bank Plaza. 7th and Locust is where we are right now. I'm almost confident enough that I'm just going to go with it. That's the Mercantile Exchange, is MX, so good thing I didn't just jump into that. 314 is your area code, though. I think that is Minneapolis. I think I might just have lucked into that. We'll find out. I could be incredibly wrong. It would not be the first time. It will not be the last time. Also, I don't know what's going on with my voice today, but I am loving it. St. Louis? Wow. America's Center. Welcome to America's Center. ExploreStLouis.com. Minneapolis, St. Louis. It's about the same. Oh, I know why I understand 314. I was in St. Louis not too long ago. I've been in Minnesota, too, so that's, that's probably why I was confused. All right, so we're at 7th. Uh, there's 14th. Uh, there's 7th. Okay, so there's 7th Street. Let's just figure out where... We were along 7th Street. We're at the corner of 7th, and they don't care about labeling it. 7th and... Oh, I see. I see, I see. It's a one-way street. 7th and Chestnut. <laughs> 7th Boulevard? 7th Street. Oh, North. That's the South. They have a Gratiot. They pronounce it the same. North 7th Street, and Chestnut, with the Hooters, so thoughtfully labeled. This is going to get 5,000 points on one. It's obviously San Bernardino. No. No, no. They do pronounce it Houston. That is very sad. The Soho in London. I don't know what you just saw, but yes, you did just see that. Lafayette again. The theme is actually Lafayette. It's not Louis Sullivan. It's the United States again. It's a heck of a building. Look at that glass work there. It appears to be another church. Hmm. 
We are at the corners of Broadway and Cedar. There's a park here. I cannot read that sign. We're just a little too far from that, unfortunately. So Wells Fargo Bank next door. Same style as the church. Maybe it's not a church anymore, and it just is a Wells Fargo Bank. Could be. They're farmers. Gateway Arch was right around the corner. Okay, cool. Also did community banks later in his career. Why does it look like a church then? Coincidental? Because you see the crosswork design there. He just crosses in it within that. And he's just very religious. The armory building is kind of cool. Probably a National Guard flight. Uh, I think I went the wrong way, actually. Well, maybe not. That says Minnesota. Owatonna, Minnesota? Thank you, U.S. Post Office. Um, I don't want to zoom in twice. I'm willing to zoom in once to do a quick check, but then after that, we're going to have to find some more clues. <coughs> Olivia is almost a Watana. They start the same and end the same. There it is. Good call. We were on Broadway with the park and the Wells Fargo Bank. We got two 5,000 points. Spam that emo. <clears throat> Whoa! I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked by my, my bottle cap. The Roosevelt University. City of Chicago. Well, I mean, that certainly makes it a little easier. I mean, I look at this building and I see nothing special whatsoever. But probably when he was designing it, it was very unique. But now it's like half a dozen other things you've just seen forever. I mean, that's, that's the fountain on the other side of that, right? That we can't, we just can't see. It's in the middle of these two things. No, it'd be to one side now that I think about it. Because the street obviously runs through it. Anyway, we're at uh, Congress. We're on Lakeside, I think. Is that what it's called? We're going to be in Chicago, my wife and I. We've decided that's our, our summer trip. It's going to be to Chicago and along the west coast of Michigan, seeing some friends. Oh, Michigan Avenue. Nice. Michigan and Congress in Chi-Town. Near the lake, but not quite the lake. There's Roosevelt Road. There's Michigan. Michigan and Balbo. Michigan and Congress. It is the fountain. I knew it. Damn it. Trust thyself. You know it to be true. We were on this side of the road. See? What do they call it? It's the Buckingham Water... Buckingham Fountain. The Wander Pike's got in my, my way. We will see that for sure. I think what, what we're planning to do is... we're. I know, I know you guys really want to see my itinerary. We're going to go to the Field Museum because we like natural history. Probably going to go to the Shed. Um... It is, it is likely we'll go to the Art Institute. Like, those will be the top three on our list. We're going to spend two nights in Chicago. And then we're going to drive probably to Holland is our next stop. No, St. Joseph, because we want to do a winery and a, and a thing. So we'll probably stop in St. Joseph. Then we'll do Holland. Although, wow. That's real close together. Because I'd like to spend... I don't know. We're, we're going to go all the way up to Mackinac. Spend a day on Mackinac and then drive down 75 go home, you know. Whatever. There's it. Give me 5,000 points, by the way, if you could be so kind. Oh, what? Are you serious? We were not on that. Oh, you dirty cur. Yeah, we are going to try and do some geocaching. Oh, cat chances on the map. Hi, Chance. How are you doing, bud? Chances on the cat cam. It is working. And PFROG so close is still not approved. That's all right. 21,291. I'm not even going to look at the results because we're not top anything with that score. But uh, we certainly tried. Hey, that is the first challenge of the week. Again, if you are watching on Twitch, do not leave. There's plenty of GeoGuessr action still to come this week. But if you are watching on YouTube, you will have to wait for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. Until next time, cheers.